Energy in Indonesia describes energy and electricity production, consumption, import and export in Indonesia. In 2009 Indonesia produced oil, coal, natural gas and palm oil, utilized also as energy raw material in 2010. Renewable energy potential in Indonesia is high, solar, wind, hydro and geothermal energy. Tropical rain forests and peatland areas have extensive coal storage. Indonesia is geologically unstable country. According to IEA Indonesia was the 10th top natural gas producer in 2009 to 76 billion cubics 2.5% of world production of which 36 BCM was exported. In 2009 Indonesia was the fifth top coal producer, 263 million tons hard coal and 38 million tons brown. The majority of this, 230 mount of hard coal, was exported. Indonesia has significant energy resources, starting with oil, it has 22 billion barrels of conventional oil and gas reserves, of which about 4 billion are recoverable. That's the equivalent of about 10 years of oil production and 50 years of gas. It has about 8 billion barrels of oil equivalent of coal-based methane CBM resources. It has 28 billion tons of recoverable coal and has 28 gigawatts GW of geothermal potential. Topic <inaudible> overview <inaudible> <inaudible> According to IEA energy production increased 34% and export 76% from 2004 to 2008 in Indonesia. <inaudible> energy by sources <inaudible> Fossil fuel energy sources Topic: Coal. Indonesia is well supplied with medium and low quality thermal coal. At current rates of production, Indonesia's coal reserves are expected to last for over 80 years. In 2009, Indonesia was the world's second top coal exporter, sending coal to, for example, China, India, Japan, and Italy. Kalimantan, Borneo, and South Sumatra are the centers of Indonesia's coal mining. In recent years, production in Indonesia has been rising rapidly, from just over 200 mil tons in 2007 to over 400 mil tons in 2013. Recently, December 2013, the chair of the Indonesian Coal Mining Association said the production in 2014 may reach 450 mil tons. The Indonesian coal industry is rather fragmented. Output is supplied by a few large producers and a large number of small firms. Large firms in the industry include the following PT Bumi Resources the controlling shareholder of large coal firms PT Kaltim Prima Coal and PT Arutmin Indonesia PT Adaro Energy PT Kideko Jaya Agung PT Indo Tambangraya Mega PT Berau Coal PT Tambang Batubara Bucket ASAM state-owned coal production poses risks for deforestation in Kalimantan. According to one Greenpeace report, a coal plant in Indonesia has decreased the fishing catches and increased the respiratory-related diseases. Topic: <inaudible> Oil. Oil is a major sector in the Indonesian economy. During the 1980s, Indonesia was a significant oil exporting country. Since 2000, domestic consumption has continued to rise while production has been falling, so in recent years Indonesia has begun importing increasing amounts of oil. Within Indonesia, there are considerable amounts of oil in Sumatra, Borneo, Java, and West Papua province. There are said to be around 60 basins across the country, only 22 of which have been explored and exploited. Main oil fields in Indonesia include the following Minas. The Minas field, in Riai in Sumatra, operated by the US-based firm Chevron Pacific Indonesia, is the largest oil block in Indonesia. Output from the field is around 20 to 25% of current annual oil production in Indonesia. 
Jury, the Jury Field, in Bencalis Regency in Riai in Sumatra, is operated by the US-based firm Chevron Pacific Indonesia. Roken. The Roken Field, in Riai in Sumatra, operated by Chevron Pacific Indonesia, is a recently developed large field in the Roken Hilir Regency. CEPU the CEPU field, operated by Mobil CEPU Limited, which is a subsidiary of US-based ExxonMobil, is on the border of Central and East Java near the town of Tuban. The field was discovered in March 2001 and is estimated to have proven reserves of 600 million barrels of oil and 1.7 trillion CU feet of gas. Development of the field has been subject to ongoing discussions between the operators and the Indonesian government. Output is forecast to rise from around 20,000 barrels of oil per day in early 2012 to around 165,000 barrels of oil per day in late 2014. Topic gas There is growing recognition in Indonesia that the gas sector has considerable development potential. In principle, the Indonesian government is supporting moves to give increasing priority to investment in natural gas. In practice, private sector investors, especially foreign investors, have been reluctant to invest because many of the problems that are holding back investment in the oil sector also affect investment in gas. At present mid main potential gas fields in Indonesia are believed to include the following, Mahakam. The Mahakam block in East Kalimantan, under the management of Total E&P Indonesia with participation from the Japanese oil and gas firm Inpex, provides around 30% of Indonesia's natural gas output. In mid-2013 the field was reported to be producing around 1.7 bill cu feet of gas per day as well as 67,000 barrels of condensate. At the time discussions were underway about the details of the future management of the block involving a proposal that Pertamina take over all or part of the management of the block. In October 2013 it was reported that Total E&P Indonesia had announced that it would stop exploration for new projects at the field. In 2015 the Energy and Resources Minister issued a regulation stipulating that the management of the block would be transferred from Total E&P Indonesia and Inpex, which had managed the field for over 50 years since 1966, to Pertamina. In late 2017, it was announced that Pertamina Hulu Indonesia, a subsidiary of Pertamina, would take over management of the block on 1 January 2018. Tanga. The Tanga field in Bantuni Bay in West Papua Province operated by BP British Petroleum is estimated to have proven gas reserves of 4.4 trillion cu feet. It is hoped that annual output of the field in the near future might reach 7.6 million tonnes of liquefied natural gas. Aran. The Aran field in ACEH has been operated by ExxonMobil since the 1970s. The reserves at the field are now largely depleted so production is now slowly being phased out. At the peak, the Aran field produced around 3.4 mil cu feet of gas per day 1994 and about 130,000 of condensate per day 1989. ExxonMobil affiliates also operate the nearby South Loxcon A&D fields as well as the North Sumatra offshore gas field. In September 2015, ExxonMobil Indonesia sold its assets in ACEH to Pertamina. The sale included the divestment by ExxonMobil of its assets 100% in the North Sumatra offshore block, its interests 100% in B block, and its stake 30% in the PT Aran Natural Gas Liquefaction (NGL) plant. Following the completion of the deal, Pertamina will have an 85% stake in the Aran NGL plant. East Natuna. The East Natuna gas field formerly known as Natuna D Alpha in the Natuna Islands in the South China Sea is believed to be one of the biggest gas reserves in Southeast Asia. It is estimated to have proven reserves of 46 trillion cu feet TCF of gas. The aim is to begin expanded production in 2020 with production rising to 4,000 mms cf million standard cu feet per day sustained for perhaps 20 years. Banyu Urip. The Banyu Urip field, a major field for Indonesia, is in the CEPU block in Bojonegoro Regency in East Java. 
Interests in the block are held by Pertamina 45% through its subsidiary PT Pertamina EPCEPU and ExxonMobil CEPU Limited 45% which is a subsidiary of ExxonMobil Corporation. ExxonMobil is the operator of the block. Maisler the Maisla Field, currently early 2016 under consideration for development by the Indonesian government, is situated to the east of Timor Island, roughly halfway between Timor and Darwin in Australia. The main investors in the field are currently early 2016 Inpex and Shell who hold stakes of 65% and 35% respectively. The field, if developed, is likely to become the biggest deepwater gas project in Indonesia, involving an estimated investment of between $14–19 billion. Over 10 trillion cubic feet of gas are said to exist in the block. However, development of the field is being delayed over uncertainty as to whether the field might be operated through an offshore or onshore processing facility. In March 2016, after a row between his ministers, President Jokowi decreed that the processing facility should be onshore. This change of plans will involve the investors in greatly increased costs and will delay the start of the project. It was proposed that they submit revised plans of development to the Indonesian government. List of fields. See also List of gas fields in Indonesia. Topic. Shale There is potential for tight oil and shale gas in northern Sumatra and eastern Kalimantan. There are estimated to be 46 trillion cubic feet of shale gas and 7.9 billion barrels of shale oil which could be recovered with existing technologies. Pertamina has taken the lead in using hydraulic fracturing to explore for shale gas in northern Sumatra. Chevron Pacific Indonesia and New Energy Gas are also pioneers in using fracking in existing oil fields and in new exploration. Environmental concerns and a government-imposed cap on oil prices present barriers to full development of the substantial shale deposits in the country. Sulawesi, Serum, Buru, Irian Jaya in eastern Indonesia have shales that were deposited in marine environments which may be more brittle and thus more suitable for fracking than the source rocks in western Indonesia which have higher clay content. <laughs> Coal bed methane With 453 trillion cubic feet coal bed methane CBM reserve mainly in Kalimantan and Sumatra, Indonesia has potential to redraft its energy charts as United States with its shale gas. But with low enthusiastic to develop CBM project, the government only targeted 8.9 million metric standard cubic feet per day for 2015. Renewable energy sources The contribution of renewable sources of energy to energy supply as a percentage of total primary energy potential supply in 2010 was 34.5%. Renewable generation sources supplied 5% to 6% of Indonesia's electricity in 2015. Indonesia has set a target of 26% of electricity generation from renewable sources by 2025. Topic: <inaudible> Biomass. <inaudible> An estimated 55% of Indonesia's population, i.e. 128 million people, primarily rely upon traditional biomass, mainly wood, for cooking. Reliance on this source of energy has the disadvantage that poor people in rural areas have little alternative but to collect timber from forests, and often cut down trees, to collect wood for cooking. A pilot project of palm oil mill effluent power generator with capacity of 1 MW has been inaugurated in September 2014. Indonesia has many palm oil mills. Hydroelectricity Indonesia has set a target of 2 GW installed capacity in hydroelectricity, including 0.43 GW micro-hydro, by 2025. Geothermal energy 
Indonesia uses some geothermal energy. According to the Renewable Energy Policy Network's Renewables 2013 Global Status Report, Indonesia has the third largest installed generating capacity in the world. With 1.3 gigawatts installed capacity, Indonesia trails only the United States 3.4 gigawatts and the Philippines 1.9 gigawatts. However, it leads Mexico 1.0 gigawatts, Italy 0.9 gigawatts, New Zealand 0.8 gigawatts, Iceland 0.7 gigawatts and Japan 0.5 gigawatts. Current official policy is to encourage the increasing use of geothermal energy for electricity production. Geothermal sites in Indonesia include the Wayang Windu Geothermal Power Station and the Karmojang plant, both in West Java. The development of the sector has been proceeding rather more slowly than hoped. Expansion appears to be held up by a range of technical, economic, and policy issues which have attracted considerable comment in Indonesia. However, it has proved difficult to formulate policies to respond to the problems. Topic wind power Low wind speeds mean that there is limited scope for large-scale energy generation from wind in Indonesia. Only small. Topic. Solar power The Indonesian solar PV sector is relatively underdeveloped but has significant potential. However, for a range of reasons, it is unlikely that it will be practical to expand electricity output from solar sources in Indonesia quickly. A range of technical, financial, economic and social constraints are likely to be constraints on the rapid installation of solar power in Indonesia, including in rural areas. Output from the solar photovoltaic sector is almost exclusively set aside for decentralized rural electrification. In 2011, the sector produced a relatively small amount of electricity, only 22 megawatt hours. Use of energy Transport sector Much energy in Indonesia is used for domestic transportation. The dominance of private vehicles, mostly cars and motorbikes, in Indonesia has led to an enormous demand for fuel. Energy consumption in the transport sector is growing by about 4.5% every year. There is therefore an urgent need for policy reform and infrastructure investment to enhance the energy efficiency of transport, particularly in urban areas. There are large opportunities to reduce both the energy consumption from the transport sector, for example through the adoption of higher energy efficiency standards for private cars, motorbikes, and expanding mass transit networks. Many of these measures would be more cost-effective than the current transport systems. There is also scope to reduce the carbon intensity of transport energy, particularly through replacing diesel with biodiesel or through electrification. Both would require comprehensive supply chain analysis to ensure that the biofuels and power plants are not having wider environmental impacts such as deforestation or air pollution. Electricity sector Access to electricity Over 50% of households in 2011 had an electricity connection. An estimated 63 million people in 2011 did not have direct access to electricity. Organizations the electricity sector, dominated by the state-owned electricity utility Perusahan Listrik Nagara, is another major consumer of primary energy. Topic major energy companies in Indonesia Indonesian firms Pertamina, the state-owned oil company Perusahan Listrik Nagara, the state-owned electricity company Perusahan Gas Nagara, the state-owned gas company PT Bumi Resources owned by the Bakri Group PT Medco Energy International, the largest publicly listed oil and gas company in Indonesia Adaro Energy, one of the largest coal mining companies in Indonesia Foreign firms US-based firm PT Chevron Pacific Indonesia is the largest producer of crude oil in Indonesia, Chevron produces 2014 around 40% of the crude oil in Indonesia total E&P Indonesia which 
which operates the East Mahakam field in Kalimantan and other fields ExxonMobil is one of the main foreign operators in Indonesia Statoil, a Norwegian multinational firm, which has been operating in Indonesia since 2007, especially in eastern Indonesia BP which is a major LNG operator in the Tanga gas field in West Papua. ConocoPhillips which currently operates four production sharing contracts including at Natuna and in Sumatra. Inpex, a Japanese firm established in 1966 as North Sumatra Offshore Petroleum Exploration Co. Ltd. Global warming The CO2 emissions of Indonesia in total were over Italy in 2009. However, in all greenhouse gas emissions including construction and deforestation in 2005 Indonesia was top four after China, US and Brazil. See also